Hey everyone, Chad Andrews here for the USA Crit Speed Week Championship Series. We are in stop number three of the Park Circle Criterium at beautiful North Charleston, and there you see the Aussie, who has been a powerhouse during our series, Loretta Hansen, and to her right and your left, Laura Van Gilder, probably one of the most accomplished Criterium racers in the world, and there she is, multi-time national champion and their current overall leader after two stops, Tina Pick for Pepper Palace, and you can see the rest of the women are to the line and they are getting ready to start a full hour of Criterium Racing in Majestic, North Charleston. And they are off. It looked like Sarah Fader was gonna take everybody's money the first half of the race, racing for the red and black of Pepper Palace. As you can see, once and then twice taking the cash. It kind of was measuring Sarah's effort. Sarah's super strong. And then you see Julie Kaliza and Jorgensen there for Pepper Palace. So you could tell, tell the theme, at least at the start, that it was all Pepper Palace. And then, of course, Amy Cutler decides, okay, we've had enough here at Fearless Femme. We're gonna try to take some points and some cash. And you can see uh, the Peloton is swelling, but the backdrop is what's even more impressive at this time is the Spanish moss hanging from the trees and the palm trees are prevalent. And you can see with four laps left to go, Fiona Mead, the Irish national champion for Fearless Femme, takes a strike, a show of force, the Air Force overhead. And as the sun starts to fade to the west, that's a great shot, look at east, Dom 360, that is gonna be multi-time national champion, Debbie Milne taking one and taking two preems as the ever attentive Pepper Palace and Fearless Femme are around. And you can tell the speeds are starting to come up. And here comes the bunch kick. Loretta Hanson, the Aussie, pushing towards the line. She's going to get the win, followed by Tina Pick. And then Gonzalez is going to pick up third, followed by Fearless Femmes, Christy Keeley. And there's your great shot of the podium there. And Loretta putting on the jersey. Now we switch to the Park Circle Criterium with our men. The USA Crits Speed Week. And here are our call-ups. Right there is Frank Travieso for United Healthcare Project 706. And there has been uh, the 800 pound gorilla, as we say lovingly, Alta Sea Suckers, Daniel Holloway, your national champion. He is in the current lead by a lot of points as our men roll out for their chances to take a look at the beautiful course in North Charleston. And Andy Scarano, probably the first time ever in his career that he's dropped the chain at the beginning. And our good friends at SRAM and Mike Spilker with the neutral race support fixing his bike. Getting him back, getting him back on the road. So his bike's fixed, but the racing is uh, surely to put the pressure on the legs of the riders. And that right there is Maloya push biker, track racer, Christian Grossman. He has decided he's gonna split this thing and now he's gonna go solo. As it does appear, the four riders in chase, David Gutten playing, of course, Alta Vela Sea Sucker. And it looks like, well, then check for um, Astellas Pro Cycling, and I think that was Ryan Aitchison with on Astellas as well. As you can see, a great shot of the overhead banner for US Crit Speed Week. Temperatures in the 70s with a gentle breeze as the Colombian Diego Garavito is your first rider to come across the line on that lap. You can see the sun starting to fade as riders adjust their helmets to get a clearer view. And the two-time Olympian from Loya Push Bikers, Bobby Lee goes to the front as the clock tips one hour. We are certainly gonna have a speedy finish as the riders are gonna be careening around this course and out of the shadows, and out of the shadows comes, yes, our champion, our champion, our champion, Daniel Holloway for Octovello. Sea Sucker. There's your podium with Raphael Moran of CRCA Foundation in second and David Guttenplan of Isagenix Sea Sucker in third.